Dr. Sasa is the Union Minister of International Cooperation and spokesman for the National Unity Government of Myanmar. He joins us now live, uh, live via Skype from an undisclosed location. Uh, good to have you with us, sir. What is uh, your government aiming to achieve and how will it gain legitimacy internationally and with the people of Myanmar? We have to add this violence now. 715 people of Myanmar have been killed by these ruthless military generals. This violence against the people of Myanmar, these criminal activities, military operation against the people of Myanmar has to end now. So we form this national unity government that is included of all ethnic nationalities our president, active president, will be Kachin. Our prime minister is for Karins, and the rest from different part of the country. We came together to vow to end this military dictatorship and to head over the power back to the people of Myanmar. Yes, but how, sir, are you going to do that? And how are you going to gain legitimacy with the international community? International community must choose between the evil and the good, between democracy and dictatorship. Our government that we form is elected by the people of Myanmar for the people of Myanmar through democratic process of a free and fair election of 2020. That means that uh, international community, which are free and fair and democratic, has the responsibility to quickly and immediately accept and recognize and support this national unity government. This is the only legitimate body in the country of Myanmar. This is the only democratic body in the country of Myanmar. This is the only legal body. This is the only body that have the mandate of the people of Myanmar. As you said, you've tried to be as inclusive as possible with the makeup of this government. What's been the response to your proposals from Myanmar's various ethnic groups? When we form this national unity government, civil society organizations all around the country are included, ethnic arms organizations were included, and political parties were included, and most importantly, elected member of parliament in 2020 elections were included. So these four main stakeholders are included there, and it's very important that this national unity government is recognized by international community as it is being recognized by the people of Myanmar. Do you see the various ethnic uh, armed factions in Myanmar taking on the military in the name of this new unity government? As in, will, will your government have an exile, a government in exile have a military wing? Will it be taking on the, uh, the Myanmar military uh, in armed conflict? Uh, first of all, let me clarify a little bit on exile. Uh, our president, acting president, will be inside the country. Our prime minister will be inside the country. And 70% of our cabinet minister will be inside the country. Therefore, it's, uh, it's inside the country. We are the government that will be working inside the country. So it's very important that uh, it's not a call as exiled government. It's the government inside that will be functioning. Of course, these ethnic arms organizations, they have been formed for several decades. They have been fighting for the freedom and the fender democracy of Myanmar. So that is, they are with us in the same page. We all be fighting for one common ground. That is for fender democratic union of Myanmar, the freedom of Myanmar, and the justice for Myanmar. And then the, everybody will have to have the future without military dictatorship. So we vow for roadmap. One is eradication of military dictatorship in all form. Roadmap two is nullification of 2008 constitution. Roadmap three for us is to build Fender Democratic Union of Myanmar. And roadmap four is to, to build emergence of people's government. So until we achieve those four objectives and purposes, 
we will not rest. And I ask again, sir, are you prepared to use arms in order to do that? The, 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 the question is that these ethnic arms organizations have been fighting for their freedom for the last several decades. So when I say we are together, that means we will fight for our freedom and justice and democratic union of Myanmar. Good to talk to you, sir. Many thanks indeed for being with us. Dr. Sasa, then. Thank you very much.